Go ahead. This is John. I'm back. We're going to try to start this Cub power unit again. I've done a few things since the last video. I took the shroud here that was busted and fixed it and rebraced some of the broken corners. Put the hood on. Put the uh, air cleaner pipe on. Hooked this little rod up to the governor. I'm not real sure what it does, but it seems like when it's when the trans or when the we when the um, transmission is not engaged and you want to start it this has to be up so I pulled this in the up position and when I engage the transmission it gets pulled down and I know it has something to do with the governor well we're gonna give her a start to see if she fires I want to see if she runs and whether I got oil pressure and turn the gas on I'm not gonna give it any choke and we're gonna give her a try <laughs> pressure to look good on it. The uh, idle seemed high. So I'll adjust that. My next step is I'm going to remove this V pulley and put a flat pulley on it because I want to use this to power some of my old equipment like a cider press and a shredder. And I still have not located a new impulse spring for the magneto. What I did today was I hooked a 12 volt battery to that starter instead of a 6 which actually spun that spun the motor faster and I think by spinning it faster I was able to override the weak impulse spring to get a good spark. That's why she ran today. That's all for today.